Oh, I'm trying to. So today, I want to talk about our inner voice. And I feel this is a powerful subject because there are so many questions about life, about this, about that. I feel our inner voice has all the answers, like beyond any book, beyond Google, our inner voice has all the answers that we need. But the thing is, how do we know which voice is our inner voice? We're talking about the inner voice of light, the inner voice of the higher self. That's the inner voice I'm talking about right now. But there's so many different voices in our head. Every second there's so many voices telling us so many different things. How do we know which one to listen to? Well, that's what I want to talk about today. The first thing to find that inner voice, we have to know our vision and we have to know who it is we desire to be. So we can meditate on this, take a while to meditate on it and think what's really important to me. Who do I desire to be? What's my vision? And once you figure this out, that's when we can start to figure out which one is the right inner voice. And we do this by, it's all done through imagination. We imagine that we are now the person we desire to be. And we create a mental conversation based off that. Because all day long, we're having mental conversations. Just like we breathe all day, we're having mental conversations. So we want to take control over this mental conversation throughout the day. And to identify that inner, that inner voice of light, we say, okay, I am now the person I desire to be. And you ask yourself, if I am the person I desire to be, what should I do right now? And that's what you go do. You imagine where you would go. You imagine how you would feel. And you're going to get a response when you ask yourself these questions. And if you know that vision and you know who it is you desire to be, simply keep asking that question all day long. If I am not the person I desire to be. And you got other voices that pop up. It's a the voice of doubt. Whenever you, okay, this is what the person I desire to be would do right now. You have another voice that tells you to doubt that. Say, oh, don't believe that. And that can sort of take us away. We want to mute that voice. Any voice that's speaking to us from doubt, from fear, from worry, from indecision, we want to mute those voices and we want to create the conversation. If I am now the person I desire to be, what would I do? Just asking that question, creating that mental conversation and letting go of anything that tells you you're not that person. Anything that doubts that, any doubts that come up, any fears, any worries, letting all those things go. Our inner voice, it gives us ideas, inspirations, hunches, all these things that are contributing towards that vision being fulfilled. It's telling us everything that we should do. You know exactly what it is you should be doing right now if you want to bring your vision forth. A lot of the time we know this already, but there's something that's stopping us from actually doing what we know we should do. And this is our doubt a lot of the time, our doubts, our fears. And if we let these things go, that light just flows into our life. We become the person we desire to be. We are already that person. Our desires want us just as much as we want those desires. We're being attracted 
through our heart desire to become a certain person. And we got to let go of our doubts and our fears to fully become that and realize we are that person right now. Doing what we would do, going where we would go, feeling how we would feel, and just thinking from abundance, thinking from faith. Not just thinking of happiness, thinking from happiness. Always thinking from it. Not just thinking of what we want, but thinking from what we want and creating that vibration, having that conversation. If I am now the person I desire to be, what will I do? Let go of the fear, let go of the doubt and build that relationship with your inner voice. Start trusting those hunches, those ideas, those inspirations. When you get those ideas, don't doubt yourself. Have full confidence in yourself. Because we're thinking from confidence, we're not thinking of confidence. So when our inner voice gives us a hunch or whatever, we trust it and we act on it. So as soon as we get that idea, another voice is going to pop up and it's going to tell you, maybe this might not work. Find out some reasons why this idea might not work. And then once we start listening to that voice of doubt, it takes us away from that voice that's giving us inspiration. And the more we listen to that voice of doubt, the stronger it gets. The more we listen to that voice that's giving us ideas and inspirations, the stronger that voice gets, the more it's going to talk to us. We build a relationship with the voice that we act on. So create that conversation. You are now the person you desire to be. That's your true identity. Don't doubt it. No fear. Love who you are right now. 